Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mighty Leafy. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be drawing my original character Leafa. And I'm also going to be talking about how I first came up with her design. I'm also going to be throwing out some tips about character design. But they're pretty broad advice coming from a self-taught artist. So yeah, take it with a grain of salt. But yeah, here we go. So Leafa was originally created for a uni project. She was actually supposed to be a side character for a 3D animation project that I was working on at the time. She was kind of an afterthought after I had made the main character and I thought, oh man, I really need like two characters for this animation to work. So how do I put in the minimal amount of effort but make a character look somewhat unique but make the model be easy to 3D map and texture. So I came up with a pretty simple design, but ironically, or perhaps not very ironic if you think about it, she ended up standing out more than the main character. You know, because simple shapes make the character easier to identify. So I ended up keeping her around. So whenever I get a good design going, I tend to, uh, show my friends and you know get a second opinion and my friends would usually be like oh yeah man that looks good which generally means hey it doesn't look bad but it doesn't really quite stand out either now when I show them this one they react as sort of um, a little bit more dramatic to say the least so you pretty much just gotta learn to read between the lines of when your friends is just trying to be nice people because you know, they're nice people. Or, you know, maybe they actually think you've got something good going on. Can be a little bit tricky because sometimes your friends can be a little bit too nice. So yeah, I, I guess um, when my friends got really hyped about... <laughs> I knew I had something. So from there onwards, uh, I don't really have a goal or like a uh, designated destination for where this original character type thing was going. I mean, all my friends, they were much more into the idea of a original character than I am. They all had like this crazy original story and all these biography stuff typed out. And at the time, I was just like, dude, I'm just making this for like a 3D animation. I don't know what the heck was going on. I, I just want to get my project out. And so the animation projects would be like, hey, you got three months to do it, man. And I'd be like, oh, sweet, man. And then the first week I would get 30% of it done. And the last 70% that would all be the night before the project was due. That, that was the way I worked. So <laughs> when you're at that age, that's the way your mind works. <laughs> Yeah, so I got the uh, character design done for Leafa, which, you know, she looks vastly different from her initial design concept because I've been updating her design because I actually like the parts that I uh, keep between the iterations of the designs. I think the main components of her character design is just like the hairstyle and the little red beads and all that stuff and the elf ears. Oh yeah, and she's a tsundere because why not? But that's subject to change. Hey, I'll have you know that last part was inspired by my friend. I'm sure he planted it because he did a uh, fan art of my OC and I think he drew her slightly annoyed looking. I was like, damn, that looks good. Let's keep it. <laughs> so that's just how things go, man. <laughs> so aside from that, she can be wearing any sort of costume or whatever. Like she's not the type of character that heavily relies on her outfit costume to be able to tell her apart. So I do really enjoy that aspect of freedom of not having to lock her into a certain costume and keep having to uh, attach her with the costume whenever I present her. So yeah, that's a little bit of a 
creative freedom there. I'm glad I saw Landon on the、uh, the charm points being just her hairstyle. I guess <laughs> she doesn't have much of a personality yet, but I'm I'm kind of working on that. Yeah, I'm still working on that because I mean, to be fair, I was pretty desperate at the time. I know, whatever. But yeah, I mean, come on. Even I'm not that interesting, and you want me to fabricate a whole personality for a fictional character? You want to talk about expectations? Jeez. So yeah, back on topic to be a little bit more serious. She was kind of a hail mary to、uh, the project, right? Like a last ditch effort. That oh man, I just need a character to finish my project. So I didn't really have enough time to. Think about all that behind-the-scenes type thing. I just needed a character for the sake of having a character, right? So now that I have to go back and work out the internal workings of the character, the background story and stuff,、um, that part's a little bit more difficult. I guess if you were looking to just have a original character to make original art with, or just to use as a online persona, then. You don't really gotta think about all that too much. You just gotta throw in some character traits, and then you can maybe role play and stuff. You wouldn't want the character to be too deep, anyways, because it might it might actually work against you if you're trying to、uh, have it play as your online persona. Because you want that to pretty much be you, right? You just want the character there to have a visual representation、uh, while you're role playing. I find that. If you don't have a personal project like a comic, or a manga, or a webtoon to work towards in your spare time, then trying to develop deeper characters can be a little bit more difficult, because you're doing so out of context, right? You don't have a background story or a plot or anything as a backdrop to the、uh, the characters. I guess that's probably why so many people. Base their original characters off of existing series. For me, I think it would start with world building. Like you gotta have a setting that the story takes place in, and then you、uh, populate it with characters, and then you have a story. Or you have a setting and a story, and then you populate the story with characters, and that could work also. But if you don't have a setting or a plot story, you know. And you just want to have original characters sit in nowhere, then it's insanely difficult to get beyond surface deep. I feel like the most you could do would just be, oh, those characters are tsundere, or you know, I, I don't know. What what am I saying? <laughs> so yeah, I feel like having a setting and a original world, or if you like, you can just borrow a existing world from like a famous series that you're a fan of. To start things off, it's your original characters, right? You can always change and adapt them to whatever setting or story or updated thing that you want to do, because it's your character.、They、don't always have to have the same story.、Um, but yeah, I would say get started on an idea, and if it doesn't work out, just hold on to the character design, or maybe just the overall idea of the character, and hang on to them for a while. And maybe pull them out, update them accordingly when you have something that you want to do. I mean, having an OC really helps you connect with the audience and also with other artists. One of the nicest things you could probably do as an artist for another artist is probably draw fan art of their OC. It's like a very personal compliment, you know, because most people like their own OCs, right? Otherwise, they will let you know and they'll drop the OC. But if they keep the OCs around, that's most likely because they like it and they're proud of it. So when you not only pat them on the back, but also take time out of your schedule to、uh, to show them that, yeah, I think it's、uh, pretty self-explanatory if you think about it. But、uh, it's, it's just a really nice thing to do for somebody.、Um, so having an original character on your part is sort of like having your hand out for a handshake. And you're just waiting for the other person to come and shake your hand. If you don't have a OC, you kind of don't have that hand sticking out for the handshake. So, yeah, maybe it'll be a good idea to get a head start on it. I don't know. You can take it one step at a time.、It、doesn't have to be all one go. Making an OC is not easy, but 
it's probably better to get a head start. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Catch me on Facebook or Instagram. Links down in the video description below. And with that being said, I've been my Leafy, you've been you. I will catch you guys on the flip side.